Don't ask me to do something and just say you have to do it right now. And don't ask me to do something if you're capable of doing it yourself. Oof, I don't like that line very much. <laughs> that really just triggered it, it me. It's something, huh? Yeah. Like if clearly, you're of doing you it. just did it. So why did you need to ask me to do it? How do you feel? I I I would knock you out. <laughs> you get physically violent. Yes. Mmm. So satisfying. Why do you think I'm weird? You are weird. Why? I don't like it when you pull your... I feel like you're... Well, they gotta get in there, you Pulling your lobes up and around. They gotta get in there. Be gentle with those lobes. They're not... They're big and strong and tough. Sorry. I told you this last I week. I know. <laughs> really still held up on those lobes. I'm no, just... I was enjoying the spiced... Yeah, that's weird. You every... You've had me... What was the last thing you tried... To, you made me try the soda? Mm. The, like... The one that was like coconutty, you were like, it feels like you're on vacation. Oh my, but didn't it? I, I couldn't drink that all the time. It was like a nice little Because like, you can't taste. go on vacation all the time. It felt like maybe I was drinking booze, so that I think that's why I liked it. Right, because like you like probably was, have like a pina colata. Like, or like like a little Malibu in it, but when I brought it home, the, the family thought that you were insane. Incorrect. I actually, I actually sprayed it out of their mouth. Incorrect, incorrect, okay. incorrect, because I remember the video, oh. and I believe that I it was either- Oh, maybe the kids liked it? Your son liked it, and Matt didn't, or vice versa. Yeah, Matt did One not. liked it, and one did not. It was Matt. But the idea that, like, you know, yeah. Matt Ryan and I have separate tastes actually bodes well for me. Okay. You know what I mean? He did ask me the other day, are you falling in love with Sam? I was like, what? He did? I don't remember what we were talking about when he said it. I was like, shut up. What are you talking about? Dude, you've been in love with me for a year. I mean, <laughs> since I met you. Yeah. It was love at first sight. It would be weird if it started happening now. Right? Because it's been so it's many. It's been so, so many years. Many years. Literally. To be like, yeah. Now? Now. I mean. What changed? It could happen. Love grows from weird places. I guess so. Like a fungus. A fungus. <laughs> Just like a fungus. Right. Right. It could come from like the nether region. Have you ever had fungus in your feet or in your toes? Mm, I think I've had a little, Ooh. not like not like hardcore fungus, but a little athlete's foot. A little, yeah. you know, there was a little itch. There wasn't like a, a physical fungi. Okay. But there was a little like. Itch that couldn't be satiated yeah, until yeah. That's what it is. I don't think I even really spray. Wait, like um, athlete's foot, not yeah. like a full on like okay. foot fungus where there's stuff growing. Yeah, you know that hasn't been treated. I used to get warts all the time. I know oh. that's what on my feet because I was. But there's a so much room on those. I feet. know I was a diver, and there's a when you're on constantly like in bare. I thought feet. divers usually got diverticulitis. What? <laughs> I don't get it. You don't know what diverticulitis? I don't. Is? Well, it wouldn't happen if you were a diver. Okay. Which is fun. Diverticulitis is when you have like, a, um, you have to get a, a part of your intestine oh. taken out. So what about the poor people who actually have diverticulitis? They're fine. They get it. Well, either they're fine okay. or they're not fine. Am Brock Lesnar got diverticulitis for real. Yeah, because people say it's because he didn't eat any vegetables because it was just meat and nuts. See, that's what you should tell your children when they won't eat any vegetables. You're gonna get diverticulitis. You're gonna get diverticulitis. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Um, no. Also, have you ever had an ingrown toenail? It's the worst. I think, yeah. I Not mean, horrible, but yes. Parker's um, toenails and um, nails don't grow. And we asked the doctor and they said that, like, imagine how nice that is, like, never to have to. Well, would be sick. Like, cut your nails. Yeah. My hair's like that, but only in the front. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you still been doing your own hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. It's great. It's phenomenal. Okay. I love it. All right. Yeah. Okay. I, Why? What no, I just, I don't know. I feel like you need, that's like. Or, you, I mean, I, I go to get my beard done. Okay, that's what I was saying. I feel oh, like no, I shave my own head and then get my beard done. Because I feel like that's like self-care, and I feel like you don't do a lot of self-care. Oh, my God. You should see what I'm doing now. Maybe I didn't even tell you this. No. I get a Lux beard treatment. What's the Lux beard treatment? Okay, wait. Do they use a knife? No, because I get, uh, I don't like, I don't want super sharp edges. Like, I, you know, I, I want it to look a little bit more natural. And down here, I get bumps, so you can't do, okay. can't go blade down here okay but uh no i go in they know how i like my my beard to look all trimmed up and neat you right. know but and a little rugged still. Oh, still still a little rugged just not like all big and bushy like, and like and it starts to grow like more here right and not as much here okay so it starts to look kind of okay bul bulbous bulbous and pat yeah, yeah yeah so but they but it's a lux because i go sit in the chair yes and the guy who does it like he wears a suit when he cuts hair. He does. A suit. Oh, Not so a tie, but a suit. Okay. Which is impressive. And, like, first, you know, they kind of trim your hair down and everything, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then... 
they start putting it with the lotions oh, on the face. It puts the lotion on, on the skin. That's right. Oh, and he tells me, I go, Does no. you do you do what you're told? I go, no lotion. And he goes, Well then I'm gonna give you the hose again. Okay. And right. I go, Okay, lotion. Okay. Lotion, lotion, that's fine. So he puts the lotion on, you know, put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> and uh uh then he gets a hot towel. Mm. And he wraps your face just so there's like just this like hole right here. I like that. That's what they do at my facials. So you could just breathe out of yeah. it. Yeah. But it's like this hot towel on the lotion that he's just put on. It steams up your face. Then he's got this massager. Oh. The, like with the you know like electric Why are you massager because like you pull the trigger and it's like. <laughs> Why are you pulling a trigger to massage your face? That sounds dangerous. It's like it's like this thing. It's got a trigger. <laughs> And he puts it on. Okay, okay. I don't know if I like that. I like my face massage, but I don't oh, want banging. Th- well, I don't want him doing it with his hands. He's mm. got a machine for it. I don't want the machine. <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, uh, yeah, and then while I got the thing on, then he takes a different machine. Uh, a does a little on the shoulders there. Oh, so you really are getting, but I thought you said you didn't like, um, you didn't like massages. It's not a massage. It's a beard. Thing. Okay, but like when you get this, even that's like. It's a, a machine. Okay, and it's just a quick thing. So you're one of those people who wants AI to massage you, then you'd be okay. No, 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 it's just a quick thing. It's not like I'm going and this is the purpose of it. It's just like while I'm here, you know, this will just help you chill out a little bit. I'm like, I'll take it. Like if you didn't do it next time, I'd be like, that's fine. And then, yeah, and then and then trims it down more. And then, you know, yeah, uses the blade then here Mm -hmm. just to get the cheeks a little bit. Because now your face has been facialized. It's been facialized. Right. And then trims up here, and we're and we're and we're solid. We're good to go. You Do you think scissor. if you were into a massage that you would be somebody who would be like, "I'll try the happy ending," or it would be something that you couldn't like, you couldn't finish because it was like too weird? Well, I'm in a, a loving monogamous relationship. Okay, but forget that for a second. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I love her more than anything, but this but is hypothetical. Hypothetical. I mean. Yeah, once I got the massage, I'm not going to be like, but don't touch my privates. <laughs> like, what are we doing? I don't know. I think some people, like, would get nervous. And, like, it's like, what's happening? No, if I'm doing the massage, no. Yeah, finish me off? Now we're there. Okay, so yeah. you're fine. Yeah, but I don't, yeah, I don't want. You don't want that. No. I do. I have things to do. I want it, and I didn't. You want the happy ending? Kind of. Okay. Because um, I didn't know that girls ever, that that was an option. I've seen films that start that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I remember watching The Housewives a long time ago. I was watching, and Denise Richards talked about how she got one once. And I was like, oh my God, girls get happy endings too? The actress? Yeah. <laughs> when she was a housewife too. She was on The Real Housewives. She Beverly got a happy Hills. ending massage? She said she got one one time. And Which, I was like, I want it. Do you? I don't it's, know. It's one of those where, I mean, I think I'd, I'd like it. A female masseuse never has to worry about it coming back to bite her. Like, if any female masseuse yeah. tries that with a dude, the dude's going to be like, cool. Or a bit of male masseuse. But if a, a male masseuse, it's like, it's almost like you better get that in writing. Don't they usually ask though? Again, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't yeah. Go. Because I feel like sometimes they're like, do you want one? And then you can either say yes or no. Or you're going to a place that's known for, for them. Right. This is what we do this here. This is our thing. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like it would be fun. Kind of like it was. So if, if you're getting a massage at like a, like you're on vacation, mm-hmm. back in maybe you're back in hedonism. Three. Right, I'm not gonna do that. And then, but you go in and you're getting this massage, yeah. and they're like, "Would you like? How would they phrase it for a woman? I don't know. Would you like a little extra? Oh, I go, not ever gonna phrase it that way. No. Um, I don't know. Whatever they would say, but like, I'm pretty sure, woman or man, I would be like, yeah, because it would just be a even ex- if it were a woman. Yeah, it would. I just would be an experience. Right. It would just be for pleasure. Yeah, I've so hooked up with women matter. before, so it's not like it's like weird. Right. Right. But right. like, I um, I usually have hooked up with a woman with another man. Sure. I di- have not. Maybe only once hooked up with a woman, just a woman. <gasps> I got the audio. Okay, but that's. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I have the audio. First. Okay. Okay. Okay, but that's still once. Okay, yeah. so that still counts. What, with just a girl? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But usually. Wouldn't be a foreign experience. No, something. wouldn't yeah. be a foreign experience. And it's not really about like hooking up. It's just about like. It's just for you. It's all about me. Yeah, this action's being done to me. Just use my body. Yeah, and I just feel like there's something like when you're a masseuse, you are all about pleasure and you all, like you know how to. But like real masseuses. No, I don't know if they're called masseuses. <laughs> <laughs> they like. Massage therapists. Well, yeah, they mm-hmm. call themselves massage therapists. They're there to like. They have a, a, a knowledge of the muscles right. and how to 
So, I mean, this idea of like, they're just there for my pleasure to manipulate my pride. Therapize my, nether- my between legs muscles. Oh, yeah, I have my love muscle. Um, therapize <laughs> it. Yeah. There's muscles in there, right? In like the lips? Oh. That I don't know. We have I'm, a lot of research to do. Yeah, maybe leave it in a comment. Maybe throw it in an iTunes review. <laughs> do you guys know? <laughs> yeah. By the way, yeah. to answer your question. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Maybe we're in vacation mode because, uh, or thinking about this stuff. Yeah. Because we're here. We're, this is the last pond before yeah. uh, Memorial, uh, Labor Day. Yeah. Summer's done. I've, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting, like, I'm having conversations with people that they're like, oh, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe summer's over. I don't like when I, I, I feel sad about it, but I do, I'm looking forward to the kids going back to school. You are? Get, or, yeah. I don't want to come up with activities for you anymore. I see. We go on tons of vacations. I've, I've had a blast with them, but like we need some like That's structure. True. You we have, need some structure. Yeah, the, the, this is yeah. the weekday activities, yeah. and then you earn your weekend. You earn it, and I don't feel like I'm earning it right now. It's all blending together. Sure, that makes sense, especially and it, and it gets very complicated when you're also trying to maintain your regular working schedule. Yeah, but the whole family vibe is oh, just throwing. Nah, it. homie. Nah, <laughs> I'm gonna do what we want to yeah, do. Yeah, it's still Saturday, and you're like, it's yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, I, 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 I get that. I don't get... I'm, I'm pretty actually... I'm good with it being the end of summer. You're like, done. I feel like we did it. Yeah, and I also love fall. So oh, like it's I'm, the best. Is it fall I mean, the best? I mean, we've gone, we've gone apple picking many, many a time. I feel like we've gone like maybe once to twice. That's not true. I, I think maybe three times. Three. I, and I will check. I have pictures. I don't know if it happened the same time, but apple picking is when... It might have all happened on the same apple picking. What? One of the best apple pickings ever. What? Where I believe this all happened once, unless I'm conflating. Okay. But I think my favorite one, I think it was before we had kids. No, neither of us had kids. Neither of us had kids. And we went to the orchard. Mm -hmm. We realized quickly, this is a waste of time. Do you want to just buy a bucket? We did. All we did was buy a bucket of apples. Got right back in the car. Yep. Went to lunch. Yep. Where your husband's ex was. Yes. Not just ex. ex Ex-wife. Ex-wife. Yes. Was brother ex-wife's brother yes. was randomly at this lunch which made it even more weird then yeah. we went back to the apartment yes because you were still in an apartment then where we were in an apartment where your husband and i <laughs> oh, yeah. turned into five-year-olds yes. while you and my wife were making food in the kitchen we ran into the kitchen after playing gta 5 and went Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. Guys, guys, guys! Come here! You gotta come see this! You gotta come see I got, this! We got nervous. We're like making apple crisp. Yeah. And you're like screaming. I'm like, oh no, they broke something. something. And you ran in so we could show you that we figured out how to hijack airplanes and jump out of them. In what? What was it? GTA Five. <sighs> and by the way, still no GTA Six. Really? That's how long it's been. When you play now, do you still sometimes randomly just go steal a plane? I'm gonna tell you something right now. Okay. And I think this is gonna make you feel warm and fuzzy, and I want you okay. to tell Matt as well. Okay. It's the only thing I do in that game. It's been 10 years. For real? Literally. You're over everything but stealing planes. I'm going to tell you how I play oh GTA God. 5, okay? Because I already beat all the challenges and everything. I did that, you know, within months right. of getting it. So it's boring now. No, it's not. Right. Because here's how I play the game. Okay. Literally, I've gone from PS4 to PS5 and still. And now I'm getting the itch because I haven't done it in a while. Okay. I think I'm going to play this again. Right. I start the game. Yeah. Hijack a car. <coughs> Sorry. Go straight to the airport. Yeah. Kill people along the way, of I course. Mean, you it's gotta GTA. Take, you got to take funnest. down a fun pe- right. few people. Bring, yeah. bring down lives. Yeah. Go straight to the airport. Mm-hmm. Hijack a plane. Fly it as far as I want to. Jump out of the plane. Yeah. Wherever I land, steal a car, drive back to the airport, and do loops. And that's it. <laughs> that's all I want to do. It's literally still... The funnest thing you could do in a game. You guys should do it together. Do you, can you do it like if like we we're at our house and oh, you're like multiplayer? Or that's not a thing. There is GTA multiplayer, but I don't. I mean, GTA Online is like stop huge. saying GTA. It's like annoying me a little bit. Why? You said it literally six. That's the times. name of the game. Yeah, but isn't it Grand Theft Auto? Nobody says that. I do. It's Grand Theft Auto. Do you Grand guys Th- have the new Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> My son is looking for the new Grand Theft Auto no. game. My son doesn't play Grand Theft Auto. That's inappropriate. Oh, really? What's his favorite musician? Juice World. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got him the other day. What? A Juice World t-shirt. He was like, nah, this is fire, bro. <laughs> yes! It's very cute. Yes. Was it kid size? 
No. <laughs> no. Don't have it for kids. <laughs> no, should they? It was a big one, though. No, he sleeps in it, and he feels super fire, bro. Yeah. Yeah. My son has told me before, and we have to do that this week before he goes back to school. Yeah. He's been asking me literally since he left school. For what? In June. If he can get dripped out before he comes back to school. I mean, we got to go back to school shopping. You got to do it. Yeah. It's got to happen. Dad, can you drip me out before we go back to I school? I love him so much. And he's been asking all summer. You're going to drip me out, right, Dad? I so go, where do you take and him and go get like dripped this. out? Yeah, I'm absolutely going to get you dripped out. One million. Well, it's been a problem ever since he was like a toddler where Jess will be like, can you go take him to get shoes? And I'll go, yes. And she'll go, this is the store that has the toddler shoes. And I'll go, no problem. And then you go somewhere Drive else. right past it, go to the sneaker store and get some sick, J- sick J's. Same, and then they fit for a month or, and then when, it's And over. she's like... We've done the same thing. Matt, not we. I'm sorry. Matt has done the same yeah. thing. But then she goes, same. He can't even go to school with those. You can't go to school with laces in your shoes. Oh. Um, does he know how to tie his shoes yet? Because I I, I feel know. like I learned when I was like five or six, and this mother effort still can't do it. At 10? No, he's or about, the, or Parker the, can. He's about to be eight. I feel like, okay. I don't, no, I don't think my son can either. Why? Because everything's Velcro. Everything's, everything's like, Velcro. Or we do it. I'm like, whatever. I'm or we, yeah. Yeah, maybe he's got to learn this year. Yeah, I think it's time. I think around second grade is right. That maybe I was more like first grade, but yeah, second yeah. grade is right. I don't. Yeah, know. I just I, it makes me infuriated. Well, but I'll tell him too. Once he can tie his own shoes, yeah, then he can. Drive. I just hook him up. Okay, Sick so J's. yeah, that's a very good incentive. But wait, what about clothes? You're well, not yeah. spending a ton of money on clothes, are you? Well, I'll definitely get him like I get him like cool hoodies. Yeah, you know, you know what he said. He's like, Dad, man, you got to take me to the Gap. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, cool, bro. I'll take you to the gap. gap. To the gap. I love him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what he does. I just love them. And then my daughter goes like, Dad, can I get dripped out too? And I, I go, yeah, of course you can get dripped out, babe. And she goes, oh! oh but that's Jess's job, right? No, I'll drip her out too. Oh, Jess doesn't know how to drip people out. I know. See, it's weird. You you and Matt are the same. He does all of that for them. He does. I mean, I'll order because things, but he gets mad. Yeah, that's what he It's gets, lame, he says. It is lame. It's sensible. It's way too sensible. It's very sensible. Right. It's stuff Because you guys are thinking about, like, I'm I'm the one who's going to be taking care of them. Like, let me get something that can get muddy. Let me get right. something that can put in their rainy day right. cubby or whatever it is. Let me get... Whereas me and Matt are just like... This is going to look sick. This is going to look so fire, dude. Yeah. You're going to just show up. Because I think that we're, like, going back to where we were in school. Like, imagine if our dads had dripped us out. Like but my, my dad didn't know how to drip anybody out. My dad, my dad, I don't think my dad knew how to, like, dress me. Right. That My dad did not do a whole lot. Right. Like, that, my, yeah, my dad, he wore suits every day. He had no idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah. He, didn't know he didn't know what to do. <sighs> yeah, my dad wore scrubs, which is even lamer. Like, you know, what was he, like, and then was he going to get me, like, stonewashed jeans? Mm, he didn't know. yeah. He didn't know. Yeah. Like, right. they didn't know anything about, like, what was it, probably Tribe Called Quest or something like that? No, I don't they think didn't he know. did. They no. didn't know. No. I could have been wearing some Tommy, some Guess. Dude. Some, some, they didn't know. Think of, like, all the th- like weird things that have come back or have, like, changed. Like, well, food. thrift stores, I mean. Yeah. Did you know, like, I go in and, like, wrestling t-shirts. Tommy got hood. Like, new stuff? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean it used to be this like all American, like almost like Ralph Lauren kind of thing, and then it just morphed. But you know, like like hip hop took Ralph Ralph Lauren over too. No, totally, totally. Yeah. But it still has its. You like, know about lowheads? What's a lowhead? A fan of Ralph Lauren. Oh, is a lowhead. Lauren. Yeah, yeah, I didn't and know and that. like these and like lowheads, it's like, like they have that. big collections. Okay. They wear and they look great. Yeah. You know, I went through a little low head oh, phase. Oh, you did? A little bit. I don't feel like I remember ever seeing you. A little bit. Low headish. I wore the bears. Yeah, I like the bears. I still have a couple hoodies with the bears on it. I dig I your, like the bears. your most recent look in the in the recent years. Swaggy? Swaggy. <laughs> yeah, that's is that, is that how you would yeah. phrase it? Yeah. Yeah. When I think of you, I'm just like, oh, he's like so swag. He's, he's, so, swag. he's so thuggish and swaggy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. I, I mean, I like my most recent look. I'm not good. Like, I don't really, like, I, like, like to, like, buy clothes, and I like to, like, look nice. But, like, Matt, any nice thing I have, he's bought for me. Like, really? Like, we went to a wedding last, or two weekends ago. He has to, like, say, okay, this is the right dress, because otherwise, I get made fun of. <laughs> oh, you do. I just don't know. I'm like, oh, this is cute. This is fun. It's like a rainbow. He's like, no. Yeah. I'm an asshole. Yeah, Jess, like, will buy things that are in style, but I don't really know what's in style for women. Oh, So yes. she'll be like, uh. 
oh, what do you think of these? And I go, I don't know. They're kind of boxy. She's like, I know. That's the I go, look. Okay, well. Yeah. Then and, I guess that's the look. And the positions are reversed. He'll buy me something. And I'm like, that looks a little bit. And he's like, yeah, that's what everyone's that's wearing. That's what's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, it's good to have him. Yeah. How was the uh, the the wedding? You mentioned last week, and we didn't really get to talk um, about it. That you were at a at a at a at a wedding. It was fun. Um, there's a possibility that he blew his knee out again. What? I know this would be like a. We've been do- we haven't even been doing this show a year. I feel like you- there's been at least seven times that you've said he blew his knee we out. We had again. a replacement. We had one blown out, and he thinks he might be blew it out again because we were staying in this inn that was 200 and wait, when was America? When did America? 1776. Nailed it. Okay, so like this inn like opened in like 1770. Before right? America. Yeah. The in natives it, like in Mass- did it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The pilgrims, it was the pilgrims. Yeah, yeah. I bet you're. Pi- I bet you have pilgrims, pilgrim um, like relatives. Did I you do. have people on the Mayflower? You did, right? You don't know. Hundred percent. You don't know about this. No. So my cousin, I think it was my cousin, dated somebody who was in like the FBI at one point. Okay. And had access to like the sort of computers that have all the uh, they can they can go through your lineage. Right. Right. I mean, you're real white. Appreciate that. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> and so, and so, but thuggish. But thuggish, but real white. They went through our lineage. Okay. And they found Thomas Jefferson, third president of the United States. I, I know who Thomas family. Jefferson is. I didn't know if you knew. Okay. And Miles Standish was on the family tree. Do you know who Miles Standish was? No. The captain of the Mayflower. And he's related to you? Stop it. So your ancestors were rapists and pillagers. No, I don't think. They and did. stealers. No, didn't they? I know they like to make it like we all like got I, along, no, but we I didn't. We, no, I think that your peeps were okay. I think they were good. They were cool because I wouldn't have done that. Right. So then, Mister Standish definitely couldn't. Have. I don't think Miles Standish did anything. No, I don't think he was so. a good guy. Well, because I wouldn't have, so right. I couldn't imagine he would have. Okay, that makes sense. He's a captain. He's a born leader. Born Leadership leader. runs in my blood. Okay. That's why hot dog does right. stuff for me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Miles had his own hot dog? Of course. Every everybody, every, every strong personality in the Roberts genealogy has a hot dog. I wonder if my dad, when he was working in advertising, had a hot dog. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't hot dog or a hot dog. It was probably some sort of assistant. And I'm assuming mm. it was a woman. Nice. I don't That's... feel like a male assistant. I feel like a male assistant is like a newer thing. Right? Well, hot dog is not really an assistant. Okay, so you just, but you said, and this is, I mean, my guy. okay, you're a guy, right? Because you're, we've evolved, right? Mm-hmm. So you don't want to call him that. Right. Anyways, back to the place that was open before the America, 1770. Shout out to that place, by the way. It was fully haunted. Definitely people died there. There was a rope hanging in my room that said, don't touch it. And I'm like, like, what happened in here? There was a crawl space. It was, you know, like an inn is supposed to be like, very like, I don't know, like homey. And this was cool, but like. Rich with very scary history. It feels felt... feels very H. H. Holmes. Yes. You know about H. H. Holmes? Yes. Yeah. And we walking down the stairs, the creaky stairs yeah. to get down. There's just like a cat that lives there. And Matt didn't know that. How long the... is it? When you say an inn, so it... it's an inn. Yeah. But it's like a All bed and but Yeah, like a bed and breakfast, like inn. It's very big and very old and very well known. Uh-huh. And the cat jumped when he came down and Matt obviously got scared. He was like, what the fuck? And just went flying. So he thinks it's blown out again. So we're waiting to find out. From the haunted cat. From the haunted cat. I didn't realize. I don't even know if there is a cat. It could be a ghost cat. Anybody know how long that cat's been here? Uh, They said his name is Pete and that's where he lives on that step. And I'm like, you should probably tell people that. Because number one, some people are allergic to cats. And number two, my husband almost blew his knee out. And they were like, that cat died 30 years ago. Right. Right. Anyways, the whole thing was weird. There was like a chair in the elevator. Kept they didn't moving. have like a Marriott or something nearby? No. Hyatt? They might have, but this is where we stayed. And it definitely made for uh, some good stories. It was very, there was a crawl space in my room, like I told you. Was, the whole thing. There was like a little stage in our room that had a, um, a chair on it. Hampton's Inn or something? No, they didn't have that. Okay. And this chair, it was literally like they made like a little thing. Almost like for you to watch me bathe. Like if I was what? in the bath, someone could sit there and watch you. It was weird. Weird vibe. Yeah. But it wasn't like fixed to the ground chair. Like they were like, let's definitely leave this chair. Yeah, this is perfect for, you know. To watch. To watch. To watch the To be a voyeur. Yeah. And, um, but it was a lovely wedding. We had fun. That would be great if it was called Hotel Voyeur. (laughs) Voyeur. 
Um, I was very excited. I love love. I love weddings. Like I loved being at your wedding. You can't really enjoy your wedding as much because like you're just kind of like. I enjoyed my wedding. I mean, I enjoyed mine, but you know what I'm talking about. Well, you had a lot of drama at yours. Just so much drama. Right. Like crazy. But I just like love going to other people's weddings. So I was excited to see like you may now kiss the bride. I love that. I you love do. the kiss. Matt fully was stepping on my dress and I was like stuck to the ground. Wow. Screaming, Matt, let me up. So I missed the whole thing. Yeah. He would during the hors d'oeuvre hour, he took a little like a dumpling or whatever it was with his like little toothpick and then went to wipe sweat and stabbed himself with a toothpick. What did he like blade himself I like don't a know. wrestler? I, 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 I don't know. The whole thing was just. You know what my favorite thing I ever did at a wedding was? What? Because, you know, I don't get competitive that often, but when I do, it's on. Yeah. So, like, uh, I was, uh, uh, they did the thing where you throw the bouquet. Yeah. And then, you, and then also throw the garter. Garter, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. So they were doing both, right? So um, they're throwing the bouquet. And I don't think, I don't think Jess and I were married yet. We were, but, we, you know, we were, mm -hmm. on the, we were on the road, you know? Yeah. And uh, so they threw the bouquet. And my friend's uh, girlfriend at the time, it was coming right for Jess. Mm -hmm. She reached out and snatched it. Oh, and you were like, oh, no, 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 I was no. like, cool, man. All right. Uh-huh. Got it. Let's do this. Hey, it's congratulations on catching that. And so, like, I was standing right there. Was she aggressive with Jess? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you did not like that? I didn't that. like it at all. Okay. I got very upset about it. Okay. And so I was like, cool. I got a carter to catch. <laughs> <laughs> so my friend, whose girlfriend it was, is standing next to me. And... <laughs> He was like looking at me, and I looked at him, and he was like, "Like he's like, like, like this is this a weird you? vibe. This yeah. is a, what do you? You were like eyeing him. You're right, because I'm getting it. It's happening. And so like you never saw like I'm not even that athletic of a person. Yeah. But that garter went in the air, and I mean I used my whole body to stretch out, and like as he was right there, I snatched it right in front of his face. Did you go? And you just guard. made a face like he was like, ah, ah, because he looked and he was like, and I just smiled at him and went, ah, I caught the garter. OK. And it was just so awkward. But Jess was really happy because she knew what I had done. Right. I was and like, oh, you're going to ruin this moment. No, I'm going to ruin this. OK. Moment. And you felt satisfied. So satisfied. That you had redeemed my wife's life. honor. Who ended up getting married first, you or them? Or were they not even married? They got divorced. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. na na na. <laughs> Make it say, oh! <laughs> it's very funny. At the wedding, they started playing um, They Not Like Us, and the whole place went nuts. And I Which was... part did everybody sing along to? All of it. <laughs> and I'm sitting there taking a breather, and I've got like a little handheld fan because I'm like a sweaty mess. I'm so hot. It's deep summer wedding. And all of a sudden, literally directly after, Shabuzi comes on, and I was the only one who went crazy. I went to the middle. I was like, this is my jam. <laughs> yeah, because I don't even know. I don't remember if we talked about Shibuzi here at the beginning of the summer. Oh, but you insisted. I played it for you. Because I, I go, you know what the song of the summer is? And you're like, Shibuzi? Oh, yeah. And I was like, no, not Shibuzi. It is. And then you played it. And I was like, I've heard this song a thousand times before. This is not. No, it's not the same. It's the same song I've ever heard. I've heard a million times. It's so good. He's also so hot. Oh. That's probably more what it was. Oh. I don't think that you were thinking about it. He's gorgeous. Right. I, th I think you were looking. I think no, you're emotional. It's fun. It's feel good. You were the only one dancing? Like you were the I wasn't one... the only one, but I was the one that got most excited at the wedding. Nobody else was like, most of the other people were like, I don't know what this song is. I was like dropping it low. I was vibing. Right. Nobody and else. Was no, like... I mean, they came out, but like. But it was the first time they'd heard the song. Yeah. Yeah. You know, one of my favorite, it wasn't the first time I ever heard the song. I just yes, like, like that. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. No. Um, yes, it was. Uh, one of my great. Nobody's I... heard that song. Yes, they have. It's number one on the Sirius XM Hits One Weekend Countdown for the past four weeks. Spider put it there? Spider Harrison. Why? I don't know. <laughs> um, By no, the way, a high what? pro, a very high ranking, very high ranking. What? WWE executive. Yeah. Came Love to Spider. me. And he goes like this. Like we just started, talk, we were just talking about radio or whatever. I mean, very high ranking. Yeah. And out of nowhere, he goes, what's Spider Harrison up to? <laughs> I thought it was the best. <laughs> no one knows. No. He's, he is a very eccentric dude. I said, I don't think he ever leaves his place. And it's like, you think it's a fake voice and it's not. He said, he goes, uh, he goes, yeah, we were like doing something when I was working in another company and I was working in PR. We were doing a thing and uh, uh, I was getting Spider a guest on the weekend countdown. Like one of my people was going to yeah. do the countdown or whatever Spider was doing. And he goes, 
my phone starts ringing and Spider called, yeah. which was already weird. Yeah. And I picked up the phone and it was still the voice. Yeah, that's like his normal voice, which I, as soon as I met him, immediately was like, what does he sound like in the bedroom? <laughs> what does he sound like when he gets mad? Here we what, go. Oh, let's go, honey. <laughs> About to take you for a ride. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he's just like, but he is, um, he's the best. I mean, he's been doing, he's like an OG. He's been doing this since. Oh, goaded for, for it's sure. Too long. For sure. Uh, you would think he'd be done by now. No, he's him. He's, he is him. Yeah. He's yeah, him. totally. Totally. Yeah, I saw a thing on your, uh, so, oh, yeah. Okay. So, mm. with this Shabuzi thing, yeah. can we freely admit as we approach Labor Day? No, it's the song of the summer. What's that? What are you it talking is. about? It's the song of the summer. No, it isn't. Also, how bad that like, I send you that video. I didn't know, but we were in the in the car on the way somewhere, and I sent you a video of Parker singing every effing lyric to "They Not Like Us." Not to Shibuzi. No, I think she knows her word to Shibuzi too. But that that's one's only because you're pushing it. Everybody in the bar getting tipsy. <laughs> Come on! Oh, it's so fun. No. It's feel good. It's got like a. That's good... fine. It's, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's not the song of the summer. People didn't jump onto it like they jumped on to first Kendrick and They Not Like Us. And then Chapel Roan became the song of the summer. Chapel Roan's pretty good. You like Hot To Go or? I prefer Hot To Go. Yeah. Because I got my kids dancing to it. Wait, did you see there's a, um, a viral video? I bet we can find it if we put it in. It's some dude. You want to get it on the saddest trunk? Let's get it on the saddest trunk. <laughs> it's literally a guy doing the Hot To Go. He's so excited. They set up the phone to do Hot To Go. Hot To Go. And when he goes to do his tea. He karate chops her right into the, into the, I almost said Adam's apple, but women don't have Adam's apples. Some um, do. Right into her neck. And she's like, oh, oh, oh. I mean, she thankfully didn't make the sound. Like, remember the um, the grape stomping lady? Oh, 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 oh I can't ow, breathe. Oh, 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 it hurts. Oh, 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 oh. Um, she didn't make that sound, but she's like, are you serious? Then she's like, turn it off. And he goes to turn off the television. She's like, the phone. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good. I'm pretty sure it went viral. I've seen it like multiple times. Is it recent? Yeah. Okay. I'm I, mean, happy. I need to see it. Let me see if the I, mean, I just I just looked up hot to go fail. Yeah, that's smart. But I need to see what's happening. Okay. Let's see. Is this it? Wait, no. No. It's a couple. No? No, it's a it's a couple. I don't know. It's two people. All right, fine. Sorry. Sit around and look up how to go fails all no, day long. No, you're right. I'm sorry. But yeah, I would, say, I would say, you know, Chapel Rowan's, yeah, Kendrick and Chapel shared the summer. What about Sabrina Carpenter? Yeah. Please, please, please. Espresso. Come yeah, on. people love Sabrina Carpenter. Okay. I it's... just feel like it didn't have the, Sabrina Carpenter's probably going to be around for a while. Mm -hmm. Like, it wasn't necessarily. Like a moment? Yeah. I okay. feel like Kendrick had a moment, first half. And then creeping up right at the end of August, Chapel Roan. I mean, and also like the, the growth of Chapel Roan. Like, I think our intern came in yeah. in like June. Yeah. And was like, oh no, all my friends left Chapel Roan. Yeah. And I was like, I don't even know who that is. Yeah. And then within two weeks, yeah. it was she was everywhere. Everywhere. I was obsessed. Yeah. Playing. She's she sang on Obsessed, I think, on Olivia Rodrigo's song. She sang background vocals for like three of her huge songs. Yeah, didn't she open for Olivia yeah, Rodrigo? She That's kind of like the her. one of yeah. the big, big first Yeah. Yeah, things that broke her. What do you think about um Keegan's real dad's uh new song with Lady Gaga? I, I think it's so him. It's so Bruno. I so okay. I haven't given it a fair shot yet. It's pretty good. I only listened to it a little bit because you know why? It fell and tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. Is it pop for old people? No. Because Bruno and Gaga, God bless them. Yeah, getting up there. It's, getting to be like. It's mom pop. A little like AC. Both of them are mom pop. They both like were huge. No. 10 years. It's, I been, think they 10, can, it's been 10 years. Wait, but whenever Bruno has music, it is on both. It's on like what, like the top AC? 40. Yeah. Which. I'm just feeling like no. Gaga I, and Bruno may be over in the adult contemporary category unless the pop pop, you know. And I'm far more interested in Gaga. I mean, I love Gaga. Oh, yeah, I know you do. You love always Gaga. loved her. Always yeah. love Gaga. I was out on the Gaga bandwagon before most. I know you were. Yes. You love teeth. I was on teeth. You I mean, you love teeth. I mean, when Just Dance like was like first, first, yeah. first came out, I was like, Jess, you gotta listen to this. This yeah. is fucking awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. So no hate. Okay. No hate in my heart. I'm no like, hate. I'll see Joker Fale Adieu. Are you? Because it's a, a musical. I like musicals. You do? What's <laughs> What's Lame is? Okay, but Les Mis is, uh, it is different. It's actually a musical. Yeah. Like, did you like um, 
uh, La La Land. La La Land. I fucking loved it. You did. Obsessed. Did you see the new Mean Girls? No, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Because I don't like when they pretend something's not a musical to try to trick people into going to theaters. Yeah. Because like, and it's so weird. Because if you watch the trailer for the new Mean Girls movie, and you didn't know mm -hmm. that this is the film adaptation of the Broadway musical, correct? Because they never said that on the trailer. They and they didn't show any of the songs on the trailer. Right. It just looked like they did the same movie again. And they it were like, did. "You're not wrong, right?" Because it was people are like thirsty for nostalgia, so like they saw and they that and was like, "Yeah." And people have musical prejudice. Yes, you're and right. And they were like, they were like, "We'd rather have people think we literally just did the same movie again than that we did a musical adaptation." Wait, so um, Renee Rapp obviously played um, like. Do you like La La Land? I love. Wait, remember when they announced that La La Land had won the Oscar and <laughs> Warren Beatty? <laughs> <laughs> what a moment! He's like, it was actually, it was actually Moonlight. <laughs> oh my gosh! Moonlight, you gotta get out of here, guys! It is Moonlight. And obviously they laugh, but it was not funny. It was a horrible moment. That someone got if fired. If I made the movie Moonlight, I'd be furious. <laughs> Because you took that moment away. Right. That's it's like, gone. It's when what Kanye did to Taylor. Yeah, man. Did he's, you hear about Kanye? What he's done, man. We're no, no, done no, no, with no, him no. forever. Of course. Okay, his album's not happening. Have you heard what's going on No, what's going on? He's addicted to nitrous oxide. Oh, I did hear that. And apparently, from someone like my dad, a dentist, <laughs> that's how it started. Like Steve Martin in Little Shop of Horrors, mm -hmm. another musical that I absolutely am obsessed with. And can I tell you something? When I was... In college, like the first time I tried like a whip it. Mm -hmm. Don't try that at home. It's not good for you. It isn't? No, they're horrible for you, but I loved them. <laughs> I remember because past I, tense. Yes. I mean, I still love them. I haven't done one in forever. But okay. anyways, okay, so they're not they're horrible for you. Yeah. But I just remember being like, it's just nitrous. Like my dad gives this like laughing gas to his patients. He's a dentist. And I remember doing them and being like, Dad, are these bad? Like, are these bad for you? Are these gonna like hurt me like you give it to us. And he was like, Yeah, but like when I'm giving it to you through a mask, I'm giving it to you with equal oxygen. I'm not like oh. I'm not cutting off the air to give you only nitrous to get super high like that. And that's what they say like that nitrous oxide doesn't usually like kill people unless they're doing it they have the thing on and they're not getting oxygen, right? Yes. Isn't that you like and then they're so high they don't realize that they're not getting oxygen. So fun though. It's just like hippie crack though. It's so fast. You're high for like 40 seconds and it's done. But that's why if you get a problem with it, it's really bad. Right. And if you have if you have like one of those tanks. What they said, I watched a thing. Okay, show me. I don't know if it's true. I don't know what I'm saying. Show me. Tell me. Show me, show me, show, show me. me. And tell me. So I saw this thing that they said that like somebody said that Kanye had they'd seen somebody bringing in four massive mm -hmm. tanks mm -hmm. into Kanye's place. I mean, like at frat parties that I used to go to, there was tanks sometimes and they'd just be handing out balloons. Right, that's it, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, but it's all for him. It's all for him. It's all for him. Uh-huh, it's, it's, it's kind of scary. Yeah. He's not well. He needs to be on medication. And apparently like, and it's even more like your dad because apparently the addiction started. Remember when he got the insane like teeth that yes. look like Jaws from right. James Bond, where it's one solid thing of titanium. Right. right. Like, th that's not a grill. Like, he, it, those are implants. Right. So R they gave him some, some gas. So that was part of it. And that's, I guess, st kick started the it addiction. It feels great. That's what I've read. It feels awesome. Yeah. It's not good for you. Yeah. We tried when we had, to, when Keegan needed a lot of dental work done, we, she was like, we can give him like a little gas. I'll do that for kids. Sometimes very, very low amount just to calm them. We've had, my son had like cavities. Yes. And they gave him a little bit. Yeah. In like the bubblegum smelling mask. Keegan was like not having it. And I was so excited to see him like happy and giggling. Yeah. My son was, he had a good time with it. It's fun. Yeah. 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 Have you ever had laughing gas? I don't think I'll so. I'll bring over some whippets next time. We'll That'd be some great. I'm just joking. That'd be great. Just joking. Wouldn't it be great if we just started doing <laughs> stuff like that? <laughs> just experimenting here. My mom here. would be so proud. <laughs> yeah. My mom would be so proud. I remember she came over once and she was like, are you making fresh whipped cream? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I am. Mm -hmm. I've never made fresh whipped cream in my entire yeah. life. The freshest. The freshest. <laughs> the freshest whipped cream. So fresh. That you've ever tasted. Yeah. So, so... He's a mess, and he continues to be a mess. I'm, I feel like he, I'm not put, needing to put this out in the universe, but I feel like he'll something horrible will happen. He doesn't have good people around him. No. And he's gone way off the deep end. And do you think that that girl and is, like, has... being controlled by him? Bianca? Uh, I think there's something going on. Something's up. 
I don't know if he has the facilities to control anybody, but there is something going on. Okay. Yeah. No, Makes I think. Me out. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. I mean, we saw the downfall, and there's no coat of paint you can put on this thing. And I was the biggest Kanye I, fan in the world. Ditto. I mean, two of the two of the for to me two of the most brilliant albums ever. No, I mean, I think that wh- which two? Well, College Dropout. Okay. Um, and then I know I heard you talking about it the other day. I'm sorry, I'm brain dead. No. What? Say them. Say what? The one that you're that you that you. Well, think. there's College Dropout. Yeah. For me, yes. my favorite, Beautiful Dark Twisted yes, Fantasy. Yes, that's that's okay. the post Taylor album. Yes, when he interrupted Taylor, then he went away for a year yes. and he came back with Beautiful yes. Dark Twisted Fantasy. Because I heard you say that on something else, and I remember being like, "Yeah, I agree with that." Yeah, I mean, so I mean, he's brilliant. He's College Savanti. Dropout was unbelievable, yes. and also like, don't forget, like, the reason College Dropout was so great was because I mean, he changed the whole genre. Mm-hmm. It became cool to wear like going back to low heads. He was rapping about. He said, "Don't try to tell me I ain't no low head." Mm-hmm. Nobody was talking about that. He wore his, he wore the pink polos. He wore the yes, backpacks. Yes. He wore the whole thing. He was sampling all those soul beats that nobody yes, was really and that's doing. That's why everyone wanted him to produce. H he to was, the Izzo is his. I like know. half that things on the blueprint. Did are you his. see the thing? Like the whole documentary that they had out about him? Yeah, it was just you just saw it was like watching a madman it and was. Some, someone who was like never gonna give up. And the guy who made the documentary was like, and I'd like to give myself a very prominent part in this. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yes, but he still, did. it was fascinating to watch, especially when he started watching Tucker Carlson in like the car. And he's like, he's right, he's right. And you're like, oh, wow. You can see it start to like. There's not this like, because some people want, I think because they're fans, they want to believe he's got this like yeah. maniacal level of intelligence that he's playing this chess game. Yeah. It's like, no, man, we're watching somebody lose it. It was, yeah, so it was, uh, it was the college dropout. Mm-hmm. Then he did uh, late registration, mm-hmm. which was amazing because he changed things up again because yeah. he used Fiona Apple's producer. Yes. And it was much like, more dark and yeah. like there were strings on it. Yes. Then he did graduation. Yes. Which was out of this world. Yes. And he was using like Daft Punk stuff they and were all, all that stuff. Yeah, that's I think one of Matt's favorites. Then he did 808s and Heartbreaks, which is like that's when people were like, "Yay, more rap." Yeah. I didn't even mean to say yay like that. You that's didn't, but it happened. And that's when he started like singing with auto tune and stuff. Yeah. And I mean, to me, 808s is probably yeah the most influential. Hip hop, if not music album, maybe of an entire generation. Because old statement. I don't think we'd have any Drake. I don't think we'd have any of that kind of slow do we movement. Need Drake? I'm just joking. I love Drake. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, but do you? <laughs> I don't think, but that that kind of slow moving, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. S- almost mm-hmm. depressive, mm-hmm. melodic in hip hop. I yep. don't think that would have happened without 808. Then, as I said, Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which is the best. But even after that, uh, you had Yeezus, which has like three or four great songs I on mean, it. Yeah. You had uh, The Life of Pablo, which is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, Look at you just going in. Yay, which is like the eight track album, seven or eight tracks on it. Yeah. And like three of them are good. Mm. But if you only got seven songs on the album and yeah. three of them are good, that's half the album. That's true. And then that's kind of where it's yeah. where, I, where I end it. Yeah. Because I mean, that's when he started doing Sunday services. It's just so sad. And then he got outwardly. And uh, graphically and harmfully anti-Semitic. Yeah, I didn't love that. Kind of lost it there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> lost a lot of money. Lost a lot of... Uh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, he lost a lot of... Brands he works with. Fan base started to dwindle, yeah. I think. I mean, some of the kids still love him and are waiting. I loved what he was. I don't love what he's become. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it is it is sad it watching is sad. now because you're like, oh... and he's you were Genius. Yeah. And I think he's got real of mental illness that is not being treated because... He's refusing. Yeah, he's keeping people away from him. Which happens a lot with people who suffer from mental illness. Yeah, because people, especially if they have a lot of money. Yes. Because they'll go like, oh, you don't agree with me? Get out of here. I have the means to get rid of you. And then the people that are trying to suck all the money out of you are like, no, you're totally right. I mean, look what happened to Matthew Perry. I was going to say, look what happened with with our girl who you said I'm going to turn into. Wendy. Wendy. Good old Wendy Williams. Wendy. Did I see you're going to turn into her or you already did? I think you said I just am her. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, but yeah, Matthew Perry too, man. That's, Same thing. It's a yeah. sad story, man. People take advantage of these addicts. I mean, people thought that he was going to, it seemed like he was okay. Then they did that Friends reunion. It was like, if you He's saw that, okay, he, was okay. he was not okay. They were like, what are you talking about? Like, they were, they were. you could tell they were mortified. And yeah. we're like, this is our chance to be like, we're back together. Yeah. It's and like he looked like, okay. he wasn't okay. Crazy. Yeah. I know that look well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the long way of saying the summer 
belong to Kendrick oh, and, and not, Chapel. Right, and, and not Shabuzi. And, no, not even okay. a little bit. Not even like... Screw you. Not, you didn't even get a week. Screw you. Um, but I did see that you guys, you and your uh, uh, husband posted a thing on your Instagram that said like, you know, when you get old, you get boring and we're just laughing or something like that. I posted like that. that. Yeah. Yeah, because I hate his guts often. Oh. But as you know, I think... But no one makes me, well, you make me laugh very hard. No one makes me like. It's late. okay if your husband, I'm not gonna be a fan okay. if your husband makes you laugh more than no, I No, but like we often will get in bed at night, either high or drunk or sober, and we'll laugh hysterically, cry for like an hour or two about like whatever. That's beautiful. Yes, I agree. That's wonderful. And I know that about us, and I am grateful for that. Yeah. You said though we, that you kind of hate him right now. I often hate him. I hate him right now, definitely. Why? He's like dropping the ball a lot, and like mm. I'm just like. Like Keegan broke his glasses, his his prescription sunglasses. How do you do that? He's seven, mm. almost eight. Right. You know, it happens. And he was yeah, like, "I'll take care of it." And I was like, "We're going away on like a beach vacation. He's going to want them." I nagged, I nagged, I nagged, and he never did it. And then I ended up having to do it, and I was annoyed. I get you. He was supposed to get Keegan left a um, scooter at a restaurant that we were at weeks ago. I asked him a million times to go get it, never got it. It's gone now. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Gotta Those get a types, new scooter. Yeah. Right. So it's like if you I, say you're gonna do something. Do it. Do it. That's my big thing in life. I got other things going on. Yes. I need to be able to know. I ask you once. Yeah. You're gonna go do it. Well, he has horrible ADD, so I'll give him that. But it's it's getting bad. So I said to, the, to him the other day, like, "What's going on with you?" Mm. He was like, "Is that like a rhetorical?" <laughs> There's a lot. Everything. Do I, do I have to answer? Everything that's always been going on with me. Yeah. That is the part of 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 being in a relationship with people who are like a little damaged but fun. Right. You got to take the damage. You got to take, right. You got to take the good with the bad. Like, take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. Look at me. <laughs> that was good. Wait, that was like, a good pickup. If, if Jess asked, whoa, I just Peter brady If Jess asks <laughs> Welcome you. Welcome to puberty. Thank you. You're a man now. <laughs> if Jeff, Jeff. Oh, Big homie Jeff. If Jess asks you to do something. Yeah. Does she ever have to ask you multiple times to do something? Well. Mm, I think she does. I think she's asked me. She is will. that package still in the car? Because I've asked him a million times to bring it to. But has it been in the car? No, but okay, I. Okay, so. But I just know that. No, it... but she's neurotic like that. Okay. Oh, so she. Do you think I'm neurotic? I don't know. I'm not married to you. Oh, luckily. you know. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes. Yeah, short answer, yes. yes. <laughs> short answer, mm -hmm. much more so. Yeah. Yeah. No, but she, but no, she does a thing where, and I will get mad at this, mm -hmm. where she'll ask me to do something, and I'll go, "Okay, I will." And then within 20 minutes, oh, she's she doing it herself. Oh, no, I don't do that. And I, I give go, you a shot. I give you a shot. I go, don't ask me to do something and just say, you have to do it right now. And don't ask me to do something if you're capable of doing it yourself. Oof, I don't like that line very much. <laughs> that really just triggered me. It hit something, huh? Yeah. Like, if clearly, you're of doing you it. just did it. So why did you need to ask me to do it? How do you feel? I, I, I would knock you out. <laughs> You get physically violent. Yes, because like he wrote to me, oh, I know, I think I can look at it. Okay. He wrote to me after I said about the scooter, that you didn't get the scooter yet. Right. He wrote to me, let's get this up here. We need to. Um, oh God, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be It's May. gonna be May. Um, oh, you've mentioned you were going to get it probably about six times since you work out right next to there three times a week. He said that to you? And I said, you have a lot of nerve even saying that to me. <laughs> I wouldn't write anymore if I were you. Oh, yeah. See, okay. See, this is the dip. When, what does he do? Not write anymore? Just go like whatever? I saw the dots. And then? He stopped because I'm, because once you. No, he's smart. I get what he's doing. Don't engage with me right or now. he's like, all right, whatever. And why are you saying that? You started as your thing. But like. And you said you said you'd do it so many times and didn't do it so many times that I ended up saying I'll go do it, but I didn't. But like that triggers me already. I can tell you, because you know what response you would get? What or what? Ah, uh, see, no. Don't why write do you, or what? Why do you want to do that? What are you gonna do? Why do you want to do this? What are you gonna I'll do? I'll end you. Oh, will you? I'm already signed up on divorce.com, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's true. Because there's no bluff with you. You'll go like I go. I'll go. Didn't you say you were going to pick up the scooters? You have a lot of nerve even asking. I wouldn't write back. Or what? I'll get a divorce. Yeah. I'd be like, over the scooters? Yeah. How do we get here this no, quick? No, because it's not over the scooters. It's over the pile of things that have happened before then. And this is a little cherry on Yeah. Top. 
Well, no, I mean, I try not to do the pile of things. Yeah, you're better at that than he is. But if I get the, I wouldn't write if I were you, I go like, tell me, to explain to me exactly what would happen. Because he just- What, are, the, my con- what are the consequences? Because <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I'm a grown ass man. You also don't like to be threatened. I mean, nobody likes to be threatened. He doesn't either, but he doesn't have a whole, is it foot or leg to stand on? Whatever foot to stand leg, on. Leg to stand leg? on. Leg? I feel like it's foot. Whatever. No, you don't have a leg to stand on. You don't have a leg to stand on when, like, you literally dropped the ball on 15 million things, and now you're just trying to say this one thing you said. I mean, if you know you've dropped the ball on 15 million things, which is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of things. Then, yeah, you kind of are like, let me just hold this L. (laughs) By the way, that's another thing that my son's been doing. What? I'm, like, playing a game with him, like, Brawl Stars or whatever. And uh, I'll go, like, okay, we're done. And he'll lean over. He'll tap play again on the phone. The game yes. will start going. I go, what'd you just do? And he just starts going, take that L, take that L, take that L. <laughs> I go, all right, I'll take the L on that. Yeah. Yeah. They're special. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I can't take no threats, yeah. condescension, Oh yeah. I'd like a parenting thing. Yes. I go, immediately right now, we stop. Stop. Don't go any further. See, but you're also now when you say something like that, threatening a little bit. A hundred percent, because this is the game we're playing now. Then I'll threaten you right back, then and I, I will can, always win. No, you won't. We're not married, but I think. Yeah. I maybe shouldn't say this. Go ahead. I want to say I think I could. I would win. I don't think so. Well, you would out like. Uh, you know why? Why? Because I would know. My she's weaknesses. Gonna do this, she's gonna do this again. I'm not gonna give her one reason. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna drop. Like I'm gonna be carrying this so you're ball. You're making me feel anger towards I'm you. I'm not and going. I don't to, feel this. And and that's why I'd be doing. And I'd be doing. Because we're every, not married. I'd be doing everything right. Out of spite. Yeah. Okay. Can you teach him to do that? That's, I know. It's like I'll take it. <laughs> do it out of spite. Do, do it. it as long as it gets Just done. Just do it. Okay. Just <laughs> do, do it. it. Yeah. No. I'd be making sure because I go like she's gonna she's gonna pull this nonsense again because she's gonna get all emotional. Emotional. That's right. And I'm gonna be ready for it. You are. Yeah, he's never ready for I'm it. I'm not gonna because because I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would not. I wouldn't give you. I wouldn't allow you to fill your arsenal. Yeah, I understand. But I get you. But you walk into battle differently. Yeah. When you have your arsenal full. Yeah. And if he is giving you enough to fill that arsenal, you are within your rights to use it. Love you. So that's yeah. Context would be so different. But you wouldn't. No, you would not beat me. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm a, I'm a strong competitor. Will you at least give me that? Yeah. There be, it, we. You've read some of our text message fights. You've I, read, you've heard stories. Yeah. I'm I think str- it wouldn't happen often, but when it did, it would be knock down, drag out. Yeah. I, yeah. Cause I drive you up the wall. Yeah. I, and, and when you get driven up the wall, you get nasty. How would you keep it from getting physical? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause you'd probably start swinging. And I'd be like, look at what you're doing. And you can't even imagine. Oh. <laughs> look at what you're doing. I see. I feel like it's happening. And I go like this. This feels real. This is who you want to be. <clears throat> no, this is who you make me. <laughs> you proud? You <laughs> happy with yourself? It would. Mm-hmm. It'd be like good fellas or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> It'd be so toxic. Yeah. It'd be so toxic. I mean, but it, it is right now for you. Yeah. But still, laugh real hard before we go to sleep. So think all's well in the world. All's well in the world. As long as you end the day playing hard. Yeah. I don't have a problem with okay. it. Okay. I don't worry about you guys. I think I honestly think you're a great couple. Thanks. And I think you got great kids. I think we got great kids too. And I absolutely judge couples based on their kids. You sure you think Keegan's great after what he said the other day on the New Zealand radio show? What do you say? So what's the, first of all, what's the New Zealand There's radio some, show? I'm like, they're like, I'm their like American correspondent. Can you imagine <laughs> a population getting their idea of what America is from no. Nicole Biggins? No. And they're like, do they just name people after their anatomy over in America? Yeah. Yeah. That's well, they know, they think my name is Nicole Ryan. Why? So there, oh, you know, there's oh. the first thing. Nothing. I just, they, they do like, they, they like a 10 minute thing once a week. They just like want, you know, they don't get access to celebrities like we do. They have questions about why we do random things, reality TV, like all that kind of stuff. The 411. The 411. I see. I give I see. them the scoop. I see. So we, I was doing it on Zoom the other day, obviously, because I'm not in New Zealand. And Keegan said, I want to say hi to them. He's like obsessed with accents. So I said, sure, you can come say hi to them for one second, buddy. Okay. And this is what happened. Okay. Oh, you have it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hello. Hi, Keegan. How are you? Good. Yeah, how was school today, mate? 
same one. We don't we don't had school. We it's we still summertime, school. guys. Oh, it's oh, still the holidays. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, you say how are the holidays going, Keegan? Can I tell you guys something? Yeah. yeah. I'm autistic. No, Jesus Christ, get out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's not autistic. I'm sorry. I don't know why you just said that. Have a great day. See you next week. Fuck my life. Oh my God. Listen to them. I love your oh, reaction wait. so much. It just uh, look at that. Look at that. Look. Oh, sorry. Look. Yeah, look. They, look. Look. There's a, a real tear. A real tear. They. What's happening there? Oh, Run the Jewels just popped on. I love Run um, the Jewels. I. I. So. Can I tell you guys something? Oh, that's what you want. First of all, he is not autistic. Okay. There, it, that is fine. We walk out, and I said, "Buddy, like then I'm thinking, if does is something, <laughs> what if one of them has an autistic child, and like that they might not think that it's not funny." And he was like, "But I'm a good drawer, like I'm good at coloring." And I was like, "Did you mean artistic?" He's doing an accent. But I, I don't know. I feel like he's trying to save himself. But it was not funny. It made me want. I wanted to die. I could tell. I love you because I always know. Because you got no poker face, which is the best part about you. I mean, I was it's what making. Oh my God. And Matt was like, don't ever. Do, what are you hearing that on YouTube? What do you want? Probably. <laughs> I mean, the language that Matt uses in front of your children. I know. And me. And you, well, of course, but you're exposed to it. Oh. I mean. But like, of all the things, how about oh. like, I like to play basketball. I like turtles. Is it <laughs> something? <laughs> <laughs> is it possible that he realized? That those two words sound the same when done in an Aussie accent. And he was like, oh, I'll get away with saying this because I can pretend I'm saying artistic because it sounds the same. You're giving him way too much credit. <laughs> but you never know. Yeah. It was rough. It was rough. And we had to talk to him. Like, you know, that's not something like you, you don't make fun of somebody. There's people who. I just like, but instantly you went, oh my God, fuck my life. <laughs> well, I just didn't. I was like, no, I don't know. I just yeah, like, okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, then if you listen to the rest of the audio, they, after I. But they weren't up, like live. No, thankfully. Mm -hmm. But they saved that audio. And they sat and laughed hysterically for like a That good... audio came to you from them? Uh -huh. Oh my God. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. They were like, it's okay. It's hysterical. He's a little boy. Yeah, he's a little boy. People know he's a little boy. And, you know. And I'm the mom who's. But he's also, you know, he's a little boy. So there you go. Special boy. So I got great kids except for. Oh, him. my gosh. That's so funny. <clears throat> like, why? No, no one knows. So when you we'll sat down know. and talked to him. He looked like he was going to cry. Like, he looked like I didn't mean to do that. Like, And he was like, I am. I said, did you mean artistic? And he was like, because he told me I'm a good drawer. And I was like, it sounds like you were. But then Matt wasn't buying it. So Matt was like, or do you think that that's funny? Like I heard one of your stupid YouTubers like say making fun of something. And that's not something to make fun of. I don't know. The whole thing just sucks. But he said he wasn't making fun of he it. He said he wasn't. He said he was trying to say artistic. Yeah. So I do believe Has him. he ever used the word artistic? Artistic? Artistic. I don't think so. Because <laughs> you were going to say, I'm yeah. sure he has, but then you were. But we has say. He, but has, has he ever gone to anyone and gone like, hey, I want you to know I'm, I'm artistic. No. But whenever he comes home with something like art, we're like, buddy, you're so artistic. It's bad. We're, you're so artistic. We say it to him. Had you said it to him that day? No. I'm trying to give him every I out I can find. There's none. Man. But you do say that to him. Yes. Yes. So maybe. Maybe. Let's just hope. Pray. Oh. You feel good now that you heard that audio? Satisfied. Very satisfied. Oh, my <laughs> God. I love it. Okay. Uh, well, what a way to close out the summer, huh? I don't know, man. You want to end it with some Shabuzi? No. Play Shabuzi out Nobody's us? playing Shabuzi. How about some They Not Like Us? How about that audio guy? By the way, by the way, I would like to say as we're reflecting. Yes. Can you believe that you went from, and you can go back however many episodes and yeah. hear it for yourself. Mm -hmm. You went from, no, of course I didn't see that concert. I don't know what you're talking about. Why would we play that to your 10 yes. year old daughter? Yes. I, I knows every word. It's absurd. I am embarrassed of myself. I am ashamed. Did you miss the boat? I missed the boat. And I apologize. Was I right? You were right. I was wrong. Okay. <laughs> I hate everybody. <laughs> Oh, gosh. You yeah. know what? I mean, I want everybody to watch on YouTube, but, like, I feel like we, it, I mean, it's really good just, just listening to. I mean, I, you know why? Because if you just listen, it's like we're there with you. Yeah. We're in the car with you. We're walking down the street with you. Can you imagine being at work and listening to this <laughs> as you're, like, 
trying to convince your supervisor right, that, you're that, not, you're, that yeah, you're, I'm just yeah. listening to some tunes or something. Yeah, it's not satisfying at all. And yeah, you know, I swear, I swear. I promise. And it's like, why are you crying, laughing? Yeah, why are you cackling over there? Yeah, what? This is and then this is an absurd show. Did you just pee in your pants right there at your desk? <laughs> yeah. I think you did. Man, well, yeah. All right. Goodbye, summer. Hello, fall. We didn't pee. It was calico cut pants. I couldn't help myself. Calico. I know you've never seen. You've never seen. I think you should Mm-mm. leave. Have you? No. Can you watch it for me? I'm not gonna watch. Only Ghost. if you watch Ghost. I'm not doing it. Okay. Well, you have to watch the movie Ghost, and then I'll watch that. Well, I'm not going to watch okay. Ghost. It's stupid. Okay, it's not stupid. It's a beautiful, beautiful. Movie. I'm not gonna watch a movie from the age of Patrick Swayze unless it's. You ever watched Dirty Dancing? Yeah, it's dumb. It's what do you? Oh yeah, I had the time of my life. Oh, I did too. It was so great. <laughs> it was so no, good. No, I'm not watching Dirty Dancing. All right, we'll negotiate off the air. I think you would actually like. I, I don't care. I think be. you would actually like Ghost. There's no way you think I would actually like. I Ghost. think you would. It's funny. It's funny, it's touching, it's suspenseful. It's got all the things. It's got Whoopi Goldberg and her eyebrowless face. How about if I watch Sister Act 2? No, because you've seen it already. I know you have. I'll watch it again. It's so good. Sister Act 2? Oh, with Lauren Hill? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. freaking good. <laughs> so good. I love that you zeroed in on the sequel. It's the best. It's Yeah, it it's is. It's so good. It, it's, a good it's a good film. Well, listen, uh, you can, of course, follow us on social media. I'm not Sam. She's Mashup Nicole. Uh, we're posting clips on Instagram, uh, but you can also make sure you're subscribed to the show. Uh, we, you can watch it on YouTube if you just search Satisfying Podcast on YouTube. But if mm-hmm. you search Satisfying Podcast on any audio thing, whether it's Sirius app, whether it's Apple, whether it's Spotify, you'll find us there too. Be a part of the listening experience. Be yeah. a part of the watching experience. And uh, we'll see you soon. See you on the flip side. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>